yesterday uh, we tried to talk and uh, weren't able to because of some wind issues. Um, tell us about that and some of the challenges you faced yesterday. Uh, I tell you what, Brian, yesterday, even though I've seen higher winds and bigger gusts, uh, yesterday was probably the toughest day I've had on the uh, 50-some days so far. What happened was uh, I was uh, out in open, just completely flat Great Plains area, and the wind kicked up to about 50-mile-an-hour gusts, sustained winds about 30 miles an hour. And again, I've walked in worse than that, but I had a cart with me. Um, because of the temperatures, uh, I was carrying a, uh, pushing a cart uh, that it's kind of like a child stroller, but uh, you know, I kept water in there and food and stuff like that. And it just blew me all over the place. I just couldn't stand up. I was getting knocked over and to go back the six miles, I was, I'd gone out about seven, seven and a half miles and I was coming back the final six uh, and I was averaging about a mile and a half an hour. Uh, it just really slowed me down. More important issue, I stopped it. Just to give you an example, right after you and I tried to talk, uh, I stopped to try to change a pair of socks. And when I was changing my socks, because they get pretty wet when you're walking, uh, when I was changing a pair of socks, the wind got hold of the cart and moved it 50 feet down the road. So uh, I'm running after this cart with one shoe on. And so, so <laughs> it was kind of an interesting experience. And I will, I will let you know candidly that I'm laughing now, and I wasn't laughing yesterday. <laughs> um, what were some of the things you maybe – learned or felt or experienced kind of during that tougher time yesterday? You know, it was it was interesting. This was one of the first times that I, I will tell you that uh, the wind and the, the unpredictability of what you're seeing uh, is really probably one of the biggest challenges. And I keep relating that back uh, to what the children experience at Good Shepherd and, in their lives and, and how unpredictable it can be. So our, our, our focus at Good Shepherd is to give them that degree of predictability. So it was a real good learning experience for me and a great wake-up call uh, just to remember that that uh, you can't always be prepared for whatever kind of adversity that you may run into. As an example, today they're calling for severe weather advisory as well. I was talking to a lot of the folks in the area here yesterday, and their comment to me was, is that really common? Uh, while it's a beautiful area, it's a farming community that I'm in, uh, it's just a really great bunch of folks uh, that one of the things that they, they're mentioning to us is that the winds pick up all the time and they just almost can't get control of it. Yeah. Um, so as you go forward today, what are some of your, your hopes, um, not only for today, but this upcoming week? Yeah, what I'm doing is, is uh, for this next week is uh, I'm going to be in open Great Plains area again as well. Uh, as, as you and I talked about yesterday, uh, I had left uh, Lake, uh, Santa Rosa, gone up to Tucumcari in New Mexico, crossed over into Texas uh, a couple days ago. I'll be going into Oklahoma tomorrow. Uh, I'm in the very smallest part of Texas that you can get in. Uh, so it's, uh, I'm only going to be in Texas for about 75 miles, only be in Oklahoma for about, about 50 miles. So uh, I'm hoping that by Saturday morning uh, or Saturday afternoon, I'll actually be in Kansas. Uh, then I have to, uh, I'm taking two days uh, to go teach. There's this thing called uh, income that I need to, uh, to keep supporting my habit of information. So I'm actually lecture for a couple of days uh, and then come back in and hit the trail again on Wednesday uh, of next week. What, what are some of the things um, that you've almost felt most proud of and some of the best ex experiences that you've had? I'm, I'm just really tickled pink uh, and just excited by how supportive Everybody has been at MACPA and BLI and at Good Shepherd. Uh, got a lot of friends. And I tell you what, it means an awful lot. You don't think, I mean, a thousand miles, I've gone about a thousand and eighty miles at this point. And that's not that really big of a deal. It's really not. But when you get the words of encouragement from family and friends and, and the like, it means an awful lot. I hear from Pam and, and Greg Condoracci and, and Jennifer Elder and a lot of other folks at MACPA. And, uh, it just means an awful lot to hear from that here from family. Uh, Brian, talking to you uh, each week has kind of been a highlight. It's a great chance to just reconnect. And I just keep thinking that there's an awful lot of folks uh, that don't have people that, that care about them. I was walking this morning. Uh, I got about four or four and a half miles in earlier today. And uh, I was talking to a guy that's crisscrossing the United States. And he said he was thinking about hopping a train. And I said, 
you know, I'd be careful about doing that. That's really dangerous to do that. Uh, and his comment was, who's going to care? And I thought, you know, that's a, that's a telling comment when you don't have somebody. So a highlight for me is the fact that so many people do care. And uh, it meant, and it's meant an awful lot to me uh, to see and get messages and comments and commentaries from friends and stuff like that. It makes it all really worthwhile. Well, I'll tell you, it's been our pleasure to talk to you every week and uh, kind of just keep up with you and what you're doing, and uh, especially to uh, all rally behind what a good cause you're walking for. Um, so we're just we're just happy to do that. So how many um, how many miles have you walked um, this week? We're, we're averaging about 25 miles a day now for about the past month. Uh, and that's a pretty significant step up from what it was uh, when I was in the Rocky Mountains and before that. Uh, so we're, we're doing quite a bit better in terms of the mileage. I'm hoping to be able to keep at least 25 up or more. I uh, would like to be able to step that up to the 32 that I had actually planned on doing, to be honest with you. Uh, and, and so if we're able to do that, we'll be able to pick up some significant mileage along the way. A lot of that's going to be weather dependent. You know, it's interesting. Uh, I've now been on this jaunt now for over 50 days. It is yet to rain once. And, and so uh, this area that I'm in now is like everywhere else I've been, has been in a severe drought area uh, across the board. And so it's been kind of an interesting scenario about what's going to happen and how the, the walking will go once I've got uh, to have to start putting on the rain gear. Now, I've got a great set of rain gear, and uh, I, I plan on walking in the rain as well, so I'm not concerned about it. But I'll be curious because I've been able to go through half the trip at this point uh, where 50 of the 100 days have had no rain at all. Wow, that's, that's pretty uh, wild there. Um... Well, I'll, uh, I'll let you get going, and uh, thanks for checking in with us, and uh, look forward to talking to you uh, next week from whatever state you're in by that time.